You may have to suffer sometimes for the really big things you want out of life, but effort doesn't always mean suffering. It just means that there's work to be done. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for 10,000 subscribers. And if for some reason you're new here, like the, the algorithm just decided to show you this and you have no idea who I am. Hello. Okay. All right. Just like last time from 1000 subscribers, we are doing an ask me anything, which means you may ask me anything and then I will answer almost anything. And you know, you're, you're free to comment down here, uh, on, on this video in the comment section, just in case of your question, potentially getting lost or me missing it and uh, skimming over it on accident because there's there's a lot more of you this time so I'm worried that that might happen so I've actually taken the time to reactivate my Instagram and uh, you, you can see that down below yeah, I, I just realized I feel so stupid whenever I do this like down below you know how other YouTubers like click, click the link in the description click it click it down below It's below. And if you decide to do that, you can comment on my absolute most latest post so that I can see it. I'm most more likely to see it on there and remember it unless you guys flood that page too. I'll give you guys about um, like a few days, uh, both on this video and on the Instagram post if you decide to go there before I start answering questions and eventually get the video out before I deactivate my Instagram once again. Yes, deactivate. Let me explain. If you're wondering why, it's because I had made the promise some time ago to not use Instagram and get back on Instagram until I'd reached the 10,000 subscriber mark on YouTube as a show of my like dedication to to my dreams. To, to my goals in life and and here we are and I'm thinking of doing 50,000 this time before I head back on there and hopefully this time this time <laughs> this time <laughs> this time this time it won't take that long thank you all so much for 10,000 9,000 and 8,000, 7,000, 1,000, 0,000 subscribers because I have a huge, massive, big even lesson to share with you all. I've learned that maybe, maybe, just maybe, I should accept the rewards and the fruits of my labor instead of constantly just push, pushing, pushing myself to the brink of exhaustion. You see, basically, I had a belief that I wasn't worth anything unless I was constantly pushing myself, unless I was just suffering all the time. And sometimes, yeah, you, you do need to work harder to see results either faster or even to just see results at all. You see, but once the results start coming in, it's it, it was important for me to recognize it for myself or else I risk burning out and all the little demon imps get into my brain and start messing with me up there and it's it's never good when the imps are in there. I basically learned that I don't have to make a living hell out of my life to feel like I was worth something. You see, if the world is already constantly putting me at risk for that, why would I keep doing it to myself? Why would I keep adding on to that? You see, I had problems thinking that suffering means success when really it's effort, not suffering. 
You may have to suffer sometimes for the really big things you want out of life, but effort doesn't always mean suffering. It just means that there's work to be done. Thank you for 10,000 because even though I had, I, I'd always believed in myself, even though I'd always believed in myself, the sight of others not only believing in you too, but believing in the, the vision that, that I have for this channel is, I think that is one of the more surreal feelings that I'm, I'm getting out of this, other than just the pure number. It's, it's insane. These days I tend to stay away from most, uh, Online-ness? Online-ness? Online-ness. 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 And uh, I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with, um, with, with big creator names, not just on YouTube, but on Twitch too, and maybe some other platforms, but, but those are the big names. Or big, big platforms. Those big creator names on both YouTube and Twitch they tend to be really divisive and they, they tend to have really black and white opinions uh, on things it just, and just black and white blanket statements, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word, but since they tend to be that way, their humor, their, I don't know, conversations, their, uh, even their content, to be honest, a, a lot of their content tends to be really, it tends to be like really one dimensional and actually ends up hurting people in the process. And uh, I, I, I don't know if they know that. Now, I don't have a personal problem with people like this at all, really. It's, um, it's you know, if in essence, you consider yourself a pure content creator, then by all means, that's like, that's what you set out to do. That's that's completely fine. And I'm sure most of them kind of know that already. But this is my vision. This channel, entertainment, this is only a stepping stone, as most things in life are. I want to create things. And, and not just on my own either, because there's... With the vision I have and the, and the, the things I want to create and turn into a reality, it is absolutely impossible for me to do them on my own. I I just want to make something so massive and out of control, so incredibly out of control, that it keeps adding joy into people's lives and good into the world long after I'm gone. Man, after, after we hit 100,000, I'm sure we would have created so many great memories and moments and I, I don't even know what, what we're going <laughs> to create in between now and then. It's it's very exciting and I'm sure at the 100,000 subscriber point, it'll be a, a new era. That milestone will be a brand new era of even more great things too. And with the help of others, I'm sure it's... That's going to be, it's going to be the same thing for 500,000 and then a million and, and so on. I'm going to leave you all with something truly special. It's two direct interactions with content creators that, who truly inspired me. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Cowchop, but if you are, first of all, you are absolutely amazing. And second, the creator I'd sent a message to was Garrett. Now, Garrett entered Cowchop, which is a an entertainer group of people started by James, Uberhax or Nova, and Alex. Uh, I don't know. He he doesn't like when people call him Immortal HD, but that's he was known as that for a long time. But it was started by James and Alex. And Garrett didn't show up until a lot later toward towards the end of the channel's life. Rest in peace. But I'd sent him a message when he was doing an Ask Me Anything. Just like we're, 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 we're doing 
I'm spitting everywhere, just like how we're doing right now. Wow. Amazing. How the tables have turned. It seems kind of threatening, but um... Okay. And the second creator is a veteran on the YouTube space who goes by C Nanners. I don't know if you guys know him, but if you know him, you're awesome too. And you're probably old, just like me. In fact, I think... I think C Nanners still posts on his YouTube channel to this day. But the interaction happened on Twitch. I will give the timestamped link down below. I hope you all enjoy, and once again, thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Have something you'd potentially want in your AMA. How do you start doing this type of career, and what advice would you give to someone who thinks they would want to do something like this as well? Quit while you're ahead. <coughs> <coughs> Quit while you're ahead. I would say, like, people have like this like grandiose vision of like they want to play house when they when they do youtube and it's just like i gotta set up the lights and i gotta pretend i'm like talking to people and i gotta you know do all these things and i'm just like dude like after like sort of like being shelled up at the beginning of cow chop and then opening up towards the end just made me realize that like just fucking not thinking about anything and <laughs> just fucking doing it. It's just, it's not like you don't have some role to fill. It's just you and your camera. That's, that's all it needs to be. And that's, that's all it is to be honest. So you just kind of think about it like that. <laughs> Ooh, we'll get back to that. Uh, Amos, I'll, I'll help, I'll help you out some of my thoughts because I uh, have too many of them. Okay. Yeah, I think think primarily if you want to do anything in like the current sort of like online space, it's very easy to make sacrifices um, for whether you're, I mean, it depends on like what your motivation is, right? Some people like say, you know what? I want content creation to be my job. I don't want to work in an office. That's, that's, that's got the fair analysis. You're like, I'm a, I'm a creative person. I understand it because that's like me. I would like not really do well in a corporate environment but get to play video games and tell jokes let's fucking go but I would say that um, making sure that you have a healthy balance between work time and life time because life passes you by and uh, you should not ignore it and I think the best way to do things is to work smart and not hard. I worked a lot of years very hard, and I was not very smart. It all comes down to understanding. Um, the more you understand how something works, the better the chance of your success. <gasps> it's just a video game. Life is just a video game. <laughs> it's just a game. You know, you have physics in this world. They have physics. Uh, demon monsters run rampant through the streets of Austin, Texas. Um, you know, normal stuff. It's just a via. People are sleeping on life. Can I just say something real quick? You literally, like, people are like, eh, it's so immersive. You can literally fucking just get up. And if you can't get up, it's not a joke. Move your body from wherever you are. You can do and go and say and see anything. Right now. <laughs> you don't gotta wait for an upgrade. Fucking resolution to be better. You're fucking living it. You're fucking in it. I can literally say, I want an apple. I'm like, that's a fucking great idea. Boom. When I started thinking about treating my life like a video game, oh my god, that shit opens doors. Like, literally in-game and out. But if you think of life as literally like what it is, 
cause and effect and parameters and objectives and rules and you can literally just shape and if you're high again i'm sorry <laughs> you can shape your reality right so like you don't like a job you say i don't like this job everyone has to work because that's the the currency is like the point system right well how are you going to get out of this job what's your way out what's your plan you know like for real because like just for frame of reference i didn't have a job in 2009 and i i fucking made one <laughs> fucking made one this the job i have now didn't exist it literally didn't exist I just fucking made it. That's, that blows my mind. Just whatever you like to do, put yourself into it. Put 100% of yourself into it. Not 110 because you'll get super burnt out, but just put all you got. Just give it all you got. Because there's, it's just, this is it. Yeah, become the architect of your own life without all the schoolwork. Yeah. I would have probably made a really good architect because of, like, you know, being very particular about details. But, um, I, I'd say I probably made the best choice. Okay, let's get out of here. Live, laugh, love. Like, you need a plan straight up. That's the other thing, like, too, like, when someone says follow your dreams, that's not helpful. <laughs> that's like saying, I'm sorry you feel that way. It's not helpful, and you only realize it with time. I find it very, like, exciting and, like, empowering that if you understand how something works, it's not a mystery, it's not scary, it's not challenging because you are you practice. <laughs> it's just like the X-Files, everyone. The truth is out there, and it all looks like aliens. I'm not saying aliens, but aliens. Where the hell am I, by the way? I think I'm going to die. Yeah, making, uh, like being social and being online w when I have like a healthy relationship with it is like the ultimate. I think that's what everyone wants to get to, but the pressures and the, uh, you know, the strategies and the, the life elements that complicate things makes it challenging but tame that horse my god oh i need more reputation uh here's a potato <laughs> anyways what were we saying oh yeah uh life is a video game yeah put your energy into like you just ask yourself like what do you like what are you into <laughs> what kind of clubs do you go to um yeah like what what is it that makes you you it's hard because it, it takes a lot of time like i've made a lot of mistakes and thought i was something that i wasn't and that shit's a waste of time it takes a long time but it's worth it because i think you can impact not only your own life but other people's lives as well because the better you are the better you can be for other people it makes sense it's actually really cool it's literally the beatles yo <laughs> oh by the way uh, don't do that. One of my worst mistakes was not using my money properly and, and building an expensive house. <laughs> Invest your money and come up with strategies and don't be stupid like me. Yeah, please, for the love of God, don't be stupid. I've wasted so much time making stupid choices. Just do yourself a favor. If my name was Mike, you don't want to be like Mike. You want to get on a bike and ride the fuck away. From the decisions that I've made in the past. But I'm better now. I know things. Ask me questions. I got them for you. Don't worry. I got your back. But what would I say my other dumb choices? Putting off therapy. Next question. General advice for people in your 20s? Do lots of stuff now. Fail fast. Fail strong. Focus. Dedication. Empathy. 
<laughs> uh, mindfulness. And uh, uh, blood rituals. In that order. Uh, conversing with demons. And uh, um, transcendence. Yeah. That's what you need to know. The blood ritual stuff is really where you got to put all your time. If you ain't bleeding, you ain't succeeded. <laughs> well, that's fucking good. Okay, I don't think a rhyme.